What's up, everybody? Your boy, Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take, where I talk tech and I speak sports. Today's topic of the day is Michael Jordan dominated the 1980s Bad Boys Detroit Pistons. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell as it helps out the channel. Now, Michael Jordan dominated the 1980s Bad Boys Detroit Pistons. We're talking about the 87, 88, 89, 90, and 91 Bad Boys. Now, before everybody gets on me and says, hey, the Detroit Pistons actually used to destroy Michael Jordan, I would say, take a second look and that's what I'm gonna do right here on second take kind of fitting huh so Michael Jordan wasn't dominated by the Detroit Pistons bad boys the Chicago Bulls were and I'm gonna take a look at what Michael Jordan was able to accomplish during these years in his battles against Detroit and give you some of the stats and some of my insight on what I think and what I saw with my own eyes so Jordan's Bulls were matched up with the Bad Boy Pistons for four years straight in the playoffs. The first series took place in the 1987-1988 season. The Detroit Pistons were a two seed and the Chicago Bulls were a third seed. The Pistons were favored to win the series and in fact they did win the series four to one. Now keep in mind Scottie Pippen was in his first year that year. He was a rookie and he did not even start. And Jordan was the only player to average more than 13 points per game that series. In fact, if you look at his averages, he averaged 27.4 points per game, 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, 4.6 assists per game, two steals a game, shot 49% from the field, and 33% from three-point land. Jordan scored a total of 137 points during that playoff run against the Pistons. Second was the opposing player Isaiah Thomas with 102 points. Sam Vincent, yeah, who's Sam Vincent? I know. He averaged 12.8 points per game. He was second on the Bulls. Scottie Pippen averaged 9.4 and Horace Grant averaged 11.4. So no one was really helping Jordan during that time. So this is kind of the reason this video is going to be about Michael Jordan did his part. It was just the Bulls were a little shorthanded when trying to face the Detroit Pistons back then. Furthermore, the Pistons would actually go to the finals that year and lose to the Lakers in seven. Moving on to the 1988-1989 playoff run. The Chicago Bulls were stopped that year by Detroit not 4-1 to this year, but 4-2 to this year. The Pistons came into this matchup, the first seed in the Eastern Conference, and the Bulls were actually the sixth seed. Michael Jordan, for the series, averaged 29.7 points per game, 5.5 rebounds per game, 6.5 assists per game, and 2 steals per game, while shooting 46% from the field. He had 178 total points in the series, while second was Isaiah, his opposing point guard. Once again, he didn't get much help from his teammates. Craig Hodges finished second on the team with 12 points per game, Bill Cartwright with 10 and a half points per game, and Scottie Pippen once again under 10 points at 9.7 points per game, and Horace Grant finally with 9.3 points per game. The Pistons would ultimately capture the title, this year beating the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals for zip. The 1989-1990 playoff run for the Chicago Bulls would also end at the hands of the Detroit Pistons. They would lose 4-3 and Jordan was absolutely brilliant in 5 of the 7 games. He actually had 40 point games in games 3 and 4 after falling into an 0-2 hole to bring the Bulls back to tie the series 2-2. He would average a spectacular 32.1 points per game, 7.1 rebounds, 6.3 assists, 
2.1 steals and shot 47% from the field. His total would be 225 points over the seven games. The next closest would be the backcourt of the Detroit Pistons, Isaiah with 140 points and Dumars with 123 points. This would be the first time that Scottie Pippen actually showed up to the playoffs. He was second on the Bulls at 16.6 per game and Horace Grant had 11.6 per game. Moving back to Scottie Pippen, this would be Scottie Pippen's third year. He would be a full-fledged starter and he would be coming into his own. And this is why the Bulls were more of a competitor to the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons, on the other hand, they would become back-to-back -back champions that year, going to beat the Portland Trailblazers 4-1. Before getting into the 1990-91 season in which the Detroit Pistons were dethroned as champs and knocked out of the playoffs by the Chicago Bulls, I wanted to take a time to pause here and give you some of the great games that Michael Jordan actually had against these bad boys during this 87 through 91 run to kind of give you a little bit of perspective of how great Michael Jordan was. So I'm gonna put up a chart here and you can read it yourself, but I'll highlight a few games. I'll highlight the November 21st game in 1987, where he had 49 points, six rebounds and eight assists. I'll also highlight the April 3rd game in 1988, in which he had 59 points, four rebounds, six assists, which was on national TV. He also had an April 7th game in 1989 in which he averaged 40 points per game, 7 rebounds and 11 assists. And he also had an April 6th game the day before 1989, 31 points, 13 rebounds and 10 assists, back to back games in which he averaged a triple double against the Detroit Pistons. Now getting into the 1990-1991 playoffs. The Chicago Bulls would actually come in as the first seed this year, while the Detroit Pistons would actually come in at the third seed. Jordan, once again, was his usual spectacular self. He averaged 29.8 points per game, 5.3 rebounds per game, 7 assists per game, 2.3 steals per game, 1.8 blocks, shot 54% from the field, and shot 60% from three-point land. He would score 119 points in the playoff series and finally had a running mate in Scottie Pippen who would score 88 points and was second in the series. Scottie would average 22 points per game and that's when the Bulls run of a three-peat started as they swept the Detroit Pistons that year four to nothing. The Detroit Pistons had finally had their heart taken from them by the Chicago Bulls when they walked off the court without shaking hand as sore losers. In wrapping this video up, I just wanted to show and highlight Michael Jordan was basically Michael Jordan versus the bad boys. Whether there were the Michael Jordan rules, whether there were no Michael Jordan rules, whether it was the playoffs, whether it was the actual regular season, Michael Jordan never stopped being Michael Jordan. Now, I want people to take from this is Chicago was the one who couldn't get over the hump over the bad boys, not Michael Jordan. And once Michael Jordan had a running mate in Scottie Pippen that would actually give him some sort of help, the Chicago Bulls easily dethroned the Detroit Pistons, the back-to-back -back two-time champs, and route to a sweep, four to nothing. This would become the start of Chicago Bull dominance in the 1990s and route to six NBA championships and two three-peats. Shout out to everybody rocking me on YouTube, Instagram, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify as well as Apple and Google Podcasts. It's your boy Pat. Peace. Catch you on the next one.